Hey guys and welcome back to an all new Cold Culture Automotive video. Okay, so it is finally time to install my Borla Attack on this truck. If you guys didn't know, the exhaust sound on this truck is one of my biggest pet peeves. It's the biggest reason why I bought the V8. Well, not the biggest reason why, but a big component as to why I bought the V8 in the first place. And I really want to hear that thing actually roar. Yes, I think it sounds better than previous stock generations but it's not quite what I want it to be, which is why I gotta install this. I'm not an install YouTuber, it's just not what I do. It's a pain in the butt for me while I'm installing these things. I'd rather not have to go through and show you each little step. There are many videos out there that will help you for that. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments below and I will definitely help you to the best of my ability. But let's jump right into it. Okay, so here are the resonators. This kit is a muffler delete kit. Um, the new resonator actually seems a little bit bigger. Maybe it's just me. I have that Borla attack, so I'm making sure to point that downward so that, you know, you can see it anytime I'm under the truck. I also had to chop up my stock exhaust just to get it out from underneath the truck because I don't have a lift and the way it's all angled, it's too awkward to be able to pull out on its own. So if you have to do that, don't be scared to do that. Stock exhaust sucks anyway. Alrighty, so that is what the exhaust is gonna look like for now. Um, I just have them kind of dumping down and it's not melting or hurting any of that uh, wiring. I think that's actually the brake line right there. I like it <laughs> like that right now because, because if the tailpipe comes out right here, it adds like three and a half, four inches lower than my bumper. And uh, that's really gonna hurt me while off-roading. So having it where it is right now uh, is high and tight. It's not gonna hit anything while off-roading. I'm not gonna damage those nice uh, black tailpipes. So. You know, that's how I'm gonna like it for right now. Let me know what you guys think of how it sounds. This is gonna be a cold start because it's a thousand degrees in California year round, but you know, this is gonna be as close as I can get to it. Alrighty, so this is what it sounds like while you're driving. I'm kind of laying into it. That's with no music or anything like that. Oh, sharp turn. <laughs> but it also can sound quiet like that. It's it's gone. Um, you only really hear it while you're on it or while it's downshifting. I really like the exhaust. I like how controllable it is. The only thing that I would say is because it's the 5.0 with cylinder deactivation, a lot of the times the exhaust is like negligible. Like it's not even there. It's not even a difference between stock or you know the attack but the thing is is it's a give and take because yeah it kind of sucks it's not loud all the time but you can control it so like when i'm coming into the neighborhood i work late at night when i pull into my neighborhood i kind of coast down my street and i you know i'm not going to annoy my neighbors or anything like that and when i hop on the freeway you know that guy's next to me and i'm trying to show off a little bit i just lay into it and you know i have it when i want it and i don't have it when i don't want it so it's actually a good kind of mixture there and I think it's going to change a lot once I put the Whipple on um, at least that's what the forums say online and that's what I've seen on other people's YouTube channels like uh, Back Row Driver or like when Autovlog had his uh, supercharged F-150 and he had an attack on his as well his sounded a little different again mine sounds different because I have it set up as a dump right now because I'm not going to put on those tailpipes until I put that new rear bumper on my truck um, those tailpipes hang way too low and if I'm gonna do any sort of off-roading, they're just gonna get destroyed. So that's not worth it for me. But yeah, I think it sounds pretty great. Let me know what you think down below. 